so let's just say the revolution does happen. Okay, let's just say this is a different one and it's going to actually take I place. Never okay, who's running the place? What's the form of the government? Who steps up? You know, who are uh, some names? You you know, for the longest time, you know, many of the uh, Iranians who love the Shah, they're like, you know, his son is going to go back and Farah and Reza Pahlavi, and they're going to go back and. You know, that's what's going to happen. You're hearing a news, you know, soccer player, legendary soccer player, Ali Karimi, you know, going around saying what he's saying. Because typically when you do have a, a revolution, a British diplomat wrote a book like 20 years, 15 years ago called Leaderless Revolution. Who's the leader today? Right. It's leaderless revolution, right? It's like the prime example of there's a revolution taking place without a leader. What's going to happen if this revolution does take place? This is the biggest characteristics that this event has it right now. Which it, is what? It's literally, there is an event going on 25 days in a country with no exact or no person as a leading it. And here's the problem with, in my opinion, from the outside the country leaders or mm -hmm. even inside the country. Yeah. Imagine a one-way one line bridge and you're parking at the middle of it. You're not backing up that people go and you're not going forward that people go. Some of our leaders are standing at the middle of the bridge and they're not letting people... One day they are king, one day they are not king. One day they want to become leader, one day they don't want. One day they're a resident, they announce that I'm a, just a resident. This thing is not, we can't count on the people that there are on outside the country. I believe the next future leader of the country would be a possibly a lady from the street of terror. You think so? I Look think at what so. the girls are doing That's right now. That's amazing. Look at what the teenage girls, they're leading the charge right now. That would be a fast Oh my God, that'd be great. Seeing that'd them be... in street and, you know. Yeah. I mean, but, but, but are, you know how uh, uh, when there's a crisis, leaders rise up and you kind of identify certain names like, hey, you look at what happened here. Boom. Who's this person? Never knew this person. Overnight, we know the person. Are there some names that are being, you know, identified who are getting their voices to get louder and louder? I haven't heard any. Haven't and also either. it's, I would say, even if I had, it's dangerous to say it because you, you're just giving something away. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, but, well, but then we're going to go after know, this person. I'm, I understand not No, but what name, you but, say, right. when you said Ali Karimi, right. I think people half joke and half think, well, he'd be great if he could come back right. and do that. Right. Um, no, but I have also heard people say just, this is not anything formal. This is just like, oh, this would be cool if this happened. But there's a human rights lawyer that famously has never left the country and they jail her all the time for defending human rights, Nasrin Sutudeh, and you said a female. Mm -hmm. um, people have been like, well, she'd be great if, you know, she could lead the charge. You think Iran, out of all the countries, is ready to have an, a, a woman as a president? Well, not in the lead? current government. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Of course. I'm yeah, saying yeah. once the revolution happens, you mm -hmm. think it's capable to do that? And if you do, uh, when Khomeini came in, he killed 2,000 of Shah's generals and military leaders. What do you do if you do take over? Hezbollahs are still there. Morality yeah. police people are still there. What do you do? Them jail them like a hundred thousand people going to go to jail? I mean, that's a because those if they're still out there, they're going to do what their job is to do. Are they going to escape and go to you know where are they going to go to? What do you do with those folks? Well, the Imperial Army when Shaw left, a lot of them just switched over. They're like, okay, well, I guess you're well, in charge now. Not a lot. Of them. No, no, he killed a lot of them. He killed like a couple thousand of them, and a lot of them escaped. Top, top ones. Yeah, he he, he they top, got top ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, those are the main ones you got to figure out because you, you need your lieutenants, you need your generals. But uh, what happens with that? What do you do with that? Do you, what happens with the Hezbollahs? What happens with these, you know, these people? You know, history shows during the Mossadegh time and uh, even a couple of times after that, that these people, they have a fantastic talent of over the night changing face. <laughs> Uh, well, we saw that uh, at 11.40 a.m., people were in the street, death to Shah, uh, Zendabad Mossadegh. The, the 20, uh, two months passed between the people saying, people said the, the opposite things 20 minutes later when that happened. What do you mean by that? So you're saying that they <coughs> could change their minds is what you're saying? Many people. Look at our celebrities. Look at our celebrities in past months. I have a Farsi page past as, as, as soon as I came out of the country mm -hmm. on Facebook, I contact many celebrities that about this matter, you want to say something? About this matter, you want to say something? Nothing, nothing. Now, last 15, 20 days, mm -hmm. they feel like, oh, it looks like this is serious. Yeah. They start saying something. 
and some of them still they're not clearing their position yeah. exactly. they're just saying something between this pay and that way that i don't i don't say that uh taking aside mm. to be so fair they're getting it's fun. not a time to say uh i'm pers police or i'm taji i'm uh, you know the soccer teams. Uh, soccer teams which side it's a matter right now you have sharaf or your bisharaf yeah. that's right. it right that's it and they threaten sharaf bisharaf can you explain what no i can't <laughs> it's just having having Wise shame and, having and, shame yeah shame. so if you are bisharaf you have no shame no shame yeah, yeah. no shame Shh. shame or you don't shame and the artists do get threatened and their families get threatened and i know they've taken people's passports away so they can't leave the country so mm -hmm. we yes it would be and a lot of them have spoken out and then they get threatened and so it's like they try to do it and they can't go past a certain point because of what's being told that will happen to them and their families so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one click right here and if you want to watch the entire podcast click right here